Even with Lightning Network, Bitcoin will need a hard fork to increase the block size. Yes? Is that conversation happening? It's likely, and I've said before that I think we're going to see all different approaches used for scalability. And that means second layer technologies, it means optimization of how transactions are produced and and stored. It means uh, various forms of compression, if you like to call it that, uh, such as signature aggregation um, and various other things like that. All of these things are needed, and among those is an increase in the block size limit. Now, at the moment, the, the Bitcoin Core roadmap is to prioritize optimization, such as mast and Schnorr signatures and signature aggregation, over a block size hard fork increase. But that doesn't mean that there is no research going on there. In fact, there is quite a bit of research. There are a number of proposals, and you can find these on the BitcoinCore.org website. Uh, there is a section on hard fork research that has quite a, quite a few things going on. There's a couple of proposals um, by uh, Johnson Lau, actually, if I remember correctly, called SpoonNet, um, which have now been evolved to SpoonNet 2 and SpoonNet 3. Uh, it's a funny name, but um, <laughs> it's meant to be an alternative to fork. Um, but the idea behind SpoonNet is to do uh, a hard fork in such a way as to um, change the structure of the block header in order to implement a couple of very very important features, including the ability to add more commitments into the block header in addition to the uh, Merkle root of the transaction tree. Uh, so one example of that would be to incorporate the Merkle root of the witness tree into the block header explicitly, rather than sticking it in the Coinbase transaction. And um, other recommendations as to changing the header to increase the space available for uh, the nonce, which would make the manufacture of mining equipment uh, easier and um, allow for some better scalability and avoid some kludges that are being used in order to expand the nonce space. So part of the idea here is a hard fork um, is a fairly uh, big upgrade. It requires a lot of preparation in order to um, prepare all of the companies that participate in the space and have software that depends on uh, and expects a specific format of the block. Um, you, you need to do a lot of preparation to change things like that. Uh, otherwise, it can lead to various uh, problems, bugs, unanticipated uh, consequences. And so the research into hard forks is more about um, if we're going to do all that, we should do a few more things than simply increasing the base capacity. And the reason for that is it's going to take a lot of time to prepare anyway. It's going to require software changes anyway. Um, why not also implement some changes that are absolutely important and necessary uh, that also require a hard fork? So you have to do a balance there uh, between doing just a, the minimally viable single-time one-off hard fork, which is unlikely to give you much of a boost in capacity and will have to be repeated, versus thinking a bit more long-term and doing a few more things versus throwing everything in the kitchen sink into a single hard fork, which increases the risk tremendously. And that balance is, is subtle. Um, the conversations and the research going on about that um, are ongoing. And I think I don't expect we'll see a hard fork in 2018, uh, at least not on the core roadmap, because I think we're going to see sufficient advancement using mass nor signatures, signature aggregation, lightning network to not need one in order to uh, increase the capacity of the network. Uh, we'll see what happens after that. Wouldn't it be a better solution to raise the block size limit like Bitcoin Cash did, rather than use segregated witness, which will add more data between 38 and 47 bytes in the Coinbase transactions? Well, Ricardo. The uh, solution that is created by segregated witness isn't just about scaling. 
So while raising the block size limit like Bitcoin Cash did creates more capacity on each block and therefore attempts to solve the scaling issue in a different way. It doesn't fix transaction malleability, which was really the primary reason for segregated witness. Segregated witness is first and foremost a transaction malleability fix and secondarily a scaling fix. So Bitcoin Cash's increase of the block size limit hasn't solved transaction malleability, which means that you can't build complicated and sophisticated smart contracts on top of Bitcoin Cash, because those are not secure because of transaction malleability. So you can't do things like payment channels that are open-ended and persist forever. Um, the current implementation of Lightning Network, for example, it can't run. Now, Bitcoin Cash has a plan to fix transaction malleability as well. So, uh, on the Bitcoin Cash side, they decided to fix scalability first and transaction malleability second. The segregated witness approach was an approach that fixed transaction malleability first, did a bit of scaling, and anticipates a future block size increase and change in the block header format as part of a hard fork for more scalability increases in the future. So it was simply a difference in the order in which things have been done. Whether it's a better solution or not, that's really up to you to decide. You get to choose. If you think that what Bitcoin Cash did was a better solution, then you can use Bitcoin Cash. If you think that what Bitcoin did with segregated witness is a better solution, then you can use Bitcoin. In fact, you can use both. You can use both Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin and Ethereum, and Litecoin, and Monero, and Zcash, and all of the other systems. And even better, because of the Lightning Network, we'll soon be seeing the possibility of routing payments across all of these blockchains simultaneously, so that you can send the payment in Bitcoin, and it can arrive at the other end in Litecoin, or Ethereum, or something like that. This is about choice. You have the choice to use whatever you think is the best approach to scaling. Thank you.